And today I'm gonna walk you through how to run payroll right through GroundCloud. This is a new product we just released and we are so stoked about it. It allows you to fully automate your entire payroll process and it allows you to elevate the way you pay your drivers so you can set up incentives for them and ultimately make your business run more efficiently. So this video is going to assume you've already onboarded your company into payroll and your drivers have already gone through the self onboarding process, which is the first step of getting started with ground cloud. So if you haven't done that yet, please make sure you do that. And if you need any help doing that, just contact whatever sales rep you're working with and they'll help you through that process. So once you are ready to actually start running payroll on ground cloud, you'll first need to set up your overtime configurations. If your state does have have overtime laws and the overtime configurations are going to be different depending on your state so make sure you check with the with um, any local attorney in your state if you need to if you're unsure about what the laws are but anyway this is where you're gonna set your overtime configuration and once that's done and just so you know you could set multiple overtime configurations and apply different ones to different drivers so once that's done you're then gonna to go to this drivers tab and you'll notice I'm gonna use Chuck Norris as our example here, always a reliable driver. So you'll notice there's this new compensation tab that appears up here. And if you click the compensation tab, this is how you're gonna set up how the driver's actually getting paid. And we have different methods of paying a driver. So just to go through them all, the first is day rate. The second is day rate and stop threshold. So this allows you to pay a driver a specific amount each day, and then it allows you to pay a driver X amount once they've completed a certain amount of stops. This is a really popular method of paying drivers among a lot of FedEx contractors, and GroundCloud allows you to fully automate this process. Hourly is the next one. Hourly and stop threshold, which is similar to daily and stop threshold, just hourly replaces the daily. Hourly or stop rate, so you could pay them either hourly or by the stop, whichever amounts to more is what's going to take over that and pay the driver. And then the last is salary, so we recommend that yourself, if you're the owner of the company or any BCs or managers, also enroll into the payroll, and depending on how you pay them, salary might be one of the methods. So once you have all that set up, it's now time to run your first payroll. And the first step of running a payroll is going to be approving the time cards. So to use the GroundCloud payroll, your drivers are going to need to use GroundCloud and they're gonna use it for timekeeping. And that's where the hourly numbers are coming from and what days of the week they're working are coming from. So when I click time cards here, I'm gonna normally see all my drivers and it's gonna show all their time cards. Since this is a test account, there's no actual time cards to show you, so I'm gonna create one. I'm gonna click Chuck Norris. And as you can see, I already created one for Thursday the 14th. I'm gonna create one more. I'll do it for today. So we'll do eight o'clock. It's not gonna let me go past where we're at right now. So I'm just gonna do eight to one or eight to 120. So I could either save it or save and approve it. I'm gonna just save and approve it. So now I have two time cards that are in ground cloud and that I'm gonna be able to use towards my payroll. So now it's time to actually run payroll and just real quick, going back to drivers, I'm gonna make sure that my driver's pay is set up how I wanted it. I know I walked you guys through it, but let me show you how I have my current one set up. So Chuck Norris is gonna get paid $160 a day, and then for every stop he does above 80, he's gonna get one extra dollar. That's how I have it set up. Now, because I'm incorporating information from the stop count and using that towards pay, I need to pull my charge statement that FedEx gives me from my MyBiz account. So I've already done that. So now the next step is where it says charge statements. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna upload that charge statement. All 
and let me just make sure I did the right one there. Yeah. So I upload the charge statement, and it'll say processed once it's done. And now that my charge statement is uploaded, and, and just so we're clear, this is only something you need to do if you're incorporating stop count information. If you pay your drivers hourly, or you pay your drivers on salary, or you pay your drivers by the day, you do not need to upload your charge statement into GroundCloud. It's going to pull that information from the time cards. So the next step, now that I've done that, is I'm gonna click payrolls. And it's letting me know up here that I have employees that haven't completed the self-onboarding. I already know that. I only set up Chuck Norris for the sake of this example. So ignore that, and then you'll see my pay period, 9.13 to 9.19. Normally we go on a Saturday to Friday pay schedule. Again, this is a test account, so ignore those dates as well. And here it says unprocessed. So I'm gonna click the view details, and I'm gonna recalculate the compensations because I had already set something up before, so I wanna update it. And as you can see, I have my driver, it shows the compensation type based on what I set up, so the day rate plus the stop threshold. It shows that we worked two days, and it shows that the regular hours were a little above 13, which is why overtime hours kicked in. So it's got the overtime, so total hours, 14 and a half, and then it has the paid stops. This is pulled directly from the charge statement that I uploaded, so 190 and a dollar per paid stop above the threshold. So total comes out to $527.97. So now if I'm happy with that, I'm gonna calculate taxes and deductions. But before I do that, if I decide I'm not happy with that and I think that the driver is needing to be paid differently and I made some sort of mistake, I can go back, I can click on Chuck Norris, I can go back to the compensation, and I could change something. So, oh, okay, I realized that the stop threshold's off and it should actually be 100, not 80. So I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna click on payrolls. I'm gonna click the same payroll. I'm gonna recalculate it. And then you'll see the amount's different now. It's 113 because it's off of the new information. Same thing if I were to update that to hours and not have a daily threshold, it would get rid of that entirely. So once I am happy with it, and also, by the way, if you see the hours don't look right, then you would go back to time cards under scheduling. And I would click the driver. And although I approved it, I could unapprove it and I could look at it and say, wait a minute, this driver actually finished at noon, so that's not right. So I'm going to update that, save, approve, then I'm going to go back to payroll, click on view details again, always click recalculate and then it's gonna have the new hours. So instead of the 14 and a half, it's back down now to 13. So you could edit it if you need to. Once you're happy with it, you're gonna calculate taxes and deductions. And then I'm gonna click submit. I'll have to click submit one more time before I do. I'm gonna show you. You have company pays. So it shows the employees, Chuck Norris, the amount he was paid, taxes, benefits, which I don't have right now, set to anything, subtotal. And then I have hours and take home. So you see the 12 hours. Has the deductions, which I'll get into in a minute. I set up a deduction for him. Taxed and debited has this as well. So Social Security, Federal Income Tax, Medicare. So once I'm happy with everything, I'm gonna click Submit. Boom, done. Now this driver's gonna get paid on Friday. Now, going back to payroll, if I click Payroll Employees, I'm gonna show you how the deductions were created. So as you can see here, Chuck Norris, 
enrolled. I'm going to click View Employee Details. Couple things here. As you could see, download pay stub. This is the pay stub that Chuck just received from me processing the payroll. So you can see all the information on the pay stub. Total amount paid, total amount of hours worked, shows if there's a bonus, shows everything that's added. I had added a bonus too before, which is why there's a bonus. I'll show you guys that in a second as well. So drivers has, have access to this and you're able to access it too. And then you'll see as part of the enrollment process, these are the forms that the driver already updated, but you already know this. Anyway, if I wanted to set up deductions, I would click payroll employee setup, continue. And on the left hand side, there's deductions. So you can see I added child care. I'm gonna delete that. This is where you could add deductions. So depending on what it is, the frequency, so it could be a one-time thing, or you could do a reoccurring. It could either be a fixed amount or a percentage, and then you submit it. So that's how you're gonna handle all deductions. And then one-time payments, discretionary bonuses or any sort of one-time payments. You can see this is already processed. One-time payment button. So I set this up before I did the demo, but you can see here, payroll's already been processed. Let me actually delete the payroll, which you could do as long as you get it in before the deadline, which is Wednesday, four o'clock Pacific time. So because we haven't hit that deadline yet, I could actually cancel this. So I'm gonna cancel it. And then I'm gonna go back to payroll. I'm gonna click one time payments. Now it's gonna let me edit it. And you can see I could either do bonus, reimbursement, or paid time off. So I'm gonna leave it here, $80 extra bonus for being awesome. And that's why it was applied and then I, I, I could reprocess it. I'm not gonna go through that, I just showed you guys that. But that's how easy it is to run payroll and then once the payroll is processed, just process this one more time so I can show you the reports. Again, I'm only needing to reprocess this because I canceled it. Submit. So there you have it. Payroll's been submitted. As you can see, it says processed. And click view details on it. And I can get a payroll receipt. This is going to be the exact receipt of the payroll. So that's how easy it is to run payroll on GroundCloud. If you're interested in moving forward, just get in touch with the rep that you're working with or feel free to just reach out to the GroundCloud phone line and um, we'd love to have you start payroll with us. Thanks for watching the video.